Kia ora. I'm going to go over how to apply some rhino materials uh, to your scene. Um, so you can see here I've put some wood, glass and concrete. So it's quite simple. Um, but how did I do that? So let's go back a few steps. Um, I've created um, some materials for you to use uh, and you can download those. Um, and then uh, you'll come to the materials palette uh, a panel so we've got the materials here um, and if you want to add new ones we can click and then we can import from material library um, and then go to where you want to go um, so I was here um, so that we can then just select all those and then open them uh, and then they will come in um, and then we can easily add them to here so here if I want to add glass to this material I can just drag it over and you can see how I did that or if I want to change it to steel um, or add timber to the background here um, we have a little bit more control um, so if we want to um, just have a, a face so we can go control shift on a PC or command shift uh, on a Mac and select that face uh, and then come over here right click on here and I go assign to objects so that's one way of doing it um, the other so that gives us a little bit more control if we just want a single surface uh, if we want um, to model um, in a certain way we can actually um, create some layers if we come over here and then come down and create a layer and we call it uh, timber and then another one which we could go um, glass and you get the idea and then uh, over here there's a little column next to the lock if we click on that it asks us to apply material we can come down here and apply so timber and apply uh, and then if we go glass click on there select on this menu and go glass apply we can then uh, draw something so if we make uh, let's just draw quickly draw something like that and let's select that uh, up here by default that's drawing onto the default layer I want it to go to timber I can see set that and it automatically goes to timber so you can start to see um, how powerful that could be especially if you're baking out from from rhino um, from grasshopper uh, the final thing I just wanted to go over is how to make sort of like if you wanted to have paint so uh, let's go back to the materials uh, panel and then we can click the plus sign and go new paint so click on paint and it comes up uh, with paint and then we want to change the color so click on the color palette uh, let's do a bit of a green so click on the over there and then we can drag the, the little um, dot to get a different color so there I'm going to stay because it's default is gloss so I'm going to bring that down to matte because I want a matte paint uh, and then say green paint spell that right okay so now we have uh, we can apply that to that object or I can come in and go control shift or command shift on a Mac let's unselect that and then apply that to objects so now we've got a green top uh, hopefully that helps you start to apply some colors to your design